What's up guys, this is my tutorial on AutoIt and in this tutorial I'll be covering how to make an auto login that's usually the beginning of or the basics of any bot first you have to log in the website and then do whatever so we'll be making an auto login for Grow Socials it's a web website where you can it's like a sub for sub website so our goal here is to have a bot that will open up a window go to grow social sign in here and then click this button to sign in so let's start open up auto it first thing you want to do is include the inner explorer uh, UDF library and AU3 like this and that way you'll be able to use the internet explorer functions you can see that you can find them in help to save the file before I can go to help so you can go to help and then just type in underscore IE and then you get uh, the, all these functions the inner explorer functions you have to import the I mean you have to include the IE that a 3 for it to work and we'll be using the IE create function first which creates a, an intern explorer window oops wrong one so the way you do it was we'll use a global variable We'll call it object in an explorer is equal to IE create. Then the URL in quotes will be growsocials.com. Let's copy that, paste it here, close the quotes. You don't need that. Slash and that's it. Now if you run it, press go or just press F5, it should open up a inner explorer window just like this. Now the next thing we want to do is have it sign in and input your username and password. For that we need to uh, uh, tell AutoIt the name of this form and the name of the form to fill or the name of the field and we also need to find out the name of the field from the HTML source code of the page. This, uh, the easiest way is go to Google Chrome, go to that website, right click on the form where you're going to be inputting your username, click inspect element and it will go to the source file where it is and it says right here input ID login username name login value title username tab index and the type all it is is pretty much telling you that the name of this form is called login has a title username right here and it's of the input is of type text so you're gonna be inputting a string because it's type text so we need this part right here, the name, name login. So now what we're gonna do is go here, create another variable. This one will be local this time. Um, and let's actually make a function. Pull it all in a function. We'll call it uh, sign in. And then we'll end function here. So we'll create a local variable called username. And we'll get the form name by using the function IE get object by name. And then the object you're referencing is OIE, then you explore object. And the name is a login. We also need the local variable for the password input. And we'll do the same thing IE by name. And then for this one, the object is going to be an explorer, but the name we have to go find. So right click on the password, inspect element, and it says right here, the ID is login password, the name is pass. So the name of the form is just pass. Now, last thing we need to do, or not the last thing, but the next thing we need to do is to fill in these forms with some sort of value. So the way we do that is call the IE form element, uh, not get value set value and then the form element we're gonna set the value of is gonna be the username we're gonna type in your username something like that and then the same thing for the password just copy that part paste it here and this time we're gonna change this to password and this will change to okay 
Now, what it's gonna do if you run it is gonna open up the Bundus Explorer, enter an Explorer window, and actually I have to call a function before I do anything. So to call it, just call parentheses and the name of the function should be lowercase. Five to run it. Uh, hmm. Okay, I have to call it. Let me see what's wrong here. Undefined function. Oh, my bad. I forgot the to call it after actually define it. I think. No. Hmm. Did I mistype it? Sign in. Create end function. Include call sign in. Let me just look at what I'm doing wrong. Uh, defined. Let me find a nice thing here. Hold on. Undefined function. Call tools go undefined function. Function sign in. I forgot how to do this. Ooh. Yeah, that's fine. Um so sorry sorry about that so now what it did is open up the girl socials website filled in the username with your username the password with your password last thing we want to do is have it click sign in so we do the exact same thing just a little different right click on sign in inspect element same thing you get the input ID you get the name here's the name log R so we make a new form a new local variable we'll call this the button and then we get object by name of um, through explorer and then the name is log r and then we want to go ahead and do the last operation which is ie action click on that form so button action click and here we go this is pretty much it we are done when we press go it will obviously the username and password are wrong but if they were right it would sign in and bring you to the next page so that's pretty much it thank you for watching if you have any questions post them in the forum or in the comments um, I'm making more tutorials if you have any requests you can also ask me and thanks for watching peace